Yo, how's it going everybody? I'm gonna be learning how to drive manual once again. Uh, I've really been struggling a lot with first gear. So I'm really gonna try to not stall in this video. I'm really hoping for the best. But I'm gonna be some I'm gonna be doing some driving by myself. Uh this is a 2014 Mustang GT California Special. It's all stock, so nothing too crazy for right now. Uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure to like it and let's get this started because uh, I'm brand new to driving manual, but I'm really trying my best not to stall. So usually how I start first gear is I, of course, clutch all the way down, put it in first gear, and I just tap the gas a little bit. And then when I'm coming to a stop, clutch all the way, and brake I don't put it back in neutral some people put it back in neutral I don't let go of the gas a little bit back with the clutch now when I'm coming to a stop clutch back to neutral start slowing down I can take the clutch all the way out because you don't really need it it's green for me no one coming second gear back to neutral I can make sure slowing down so honestly it's not been too bad for me I've only been driving this for about a month now so I have sort of some experience but I'm not really a professional I really do struggle with hills uh, I still stall once in a while not necessarily on a normal road but sometimes I do on hills that's when I start really freaking out and I just dump the clutch and then I'm stuck. So I remember uh, like two days ago I was on a hill and I killed it about three times in a row. And it really was embarrassing for me. I'm really trying to drive slow in here because I'm in downtown and usually downtown is pretty busy I have a Mustang behind me too I don't know what year that is it looks like a 2018 2019 uh, it's pretty busy over here really don't want to wreck today and I really don't want to wreck while I'm filming but right now I'm on third gear I'm going about 28 miles so usually what I've been told or what I've been doing is from zero to 19 is first gear, 20 to 29 is second gear, 30 to 39 is third gear, and so forth and so forth. But it's always up to you. If you want more power, you can always get the RPMs higher, and of course use more gas, that's kind of obvious. But it's always up to you. Um, whenever I'm switching gears, I try to do this motion right here so I don't really dump the clutch while I'm after I switch gears. So that's something I've been really practicing on is to use is to go smooth when I'm switching gears because sometimes I go I dump the clutch too fast. But uh, it's up to you how you want to drive it. Um, I don't try to go too crazy yet, of course. I'm still learning how to drive it. And then I can, you know, start learning how to downshift right. And so I can do pulls here and there. But um, one thing that I really need to get over is to not be... not be nervous when I'm driving because that's usually what would get me at first is that I would be so nervous to drive uh, stick shift and then I would just stall every time in first gear and then that's when my heart would really start pounding I would start getting more nervous 
and I would just keep stalling. Oh shit. Whoops. But so far this is really fun. Uh, uh, like I said, it will take you some time. It has been taking me some time to learn. I'm still driving. Uh, sim I'm still learning how to drive it. So, but I feel like so far it's been fun. You know, I really want to show you guys how it looks if I dump the clutch whenever I switch gears. So what was going to happen is that after I switch gears and if I just dump the clutch with no gas, the car is going to it's gonna do this motion right here and then it's gonna be fine because the car is already in motion so you're not really gonna stall if you do that but I really don't recommend it if you want to have a smooth drive um, of course if you do that in first gear you're just gonna kill the car and then you have to start all over you know of course put it back in neutrals turn the car on and restart the whole process um, if you stall in public don't don't be scared I was you know nervous sweating heart pounding so fast but now if I kill it I just feel just fine uh, I know I'm gonna get out of there eventually of course but it ain't too bad just take your time go to an empty parking lot and just practice first gear that's what I did for a good hour and I feel like that truly helped me so much in learning how to drive this car right here but I really can't wait until I upgrade the exhaust and I can do a few pulls to show how loud these coyotes can get so right now i'm going less than 50 and i have it in six gear so that means that when i press the gas it's gonna be less power but now if i downshift you see how the rpms went up I can downshift again. So that's the whole point of downshifting and doing pulls is you would downshift, press a little bit of gas, downshift, press a little bit of gas. That's what I'm still practicing. And of course my RPMs are gonna go up. That, that's my license plate, by the way, that one weird sound. The RPMs are gonna go up and you're gonna have more power and of course you want more power more torque more everything if you want to do a really good pull uh, once you learn how to drive it and stuff like that i would really suggest for the, these mustangs that you really learn to drive them before you start doing pulls because i've noticed that if you really want to go crazy this car is going to take you straight to straight to the crowd that's because you everyone knows that these cars are really not stable and they just want to go to the side so really learn how to drive them before you start doing a pull don't go too crazy if you start noticing that you're swerving all over the road uh, don't let go of the gas and really practice on that watch I'm gonna downshift I'm gonna dump the clutch and watch out what happens you saw that that's what's gonna happen if you do that of course first gear is just gonna kill the car but I wanted to show you what it looks like um, I'm still learning but I really appreciate you guys if you watch the whole video I'm still learning how to do this thing I really can't wait to start doing moss to this thing and showing you guys how beautiful these cars can be um, Anyways, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one. That was a little pull, not even, but if you notice, Y'all saw how my car did that? It's because I wasn't doing this smooth as I should. Alright, peace out.